Hi, how is it going? Welcome to Code with Z. In today's video, we gotta find out which number is missing here. Why? Well, because that's what lead code 268 missing number is asking us to do. As you can see, it says, given an array called nums containing n distinct numbers in the range of 0 till n, return the only number in the range that is missing from the array. So for example, this contains four distinct numbers, meaning we have to have all the numbers from 0 all the way till 4. But if we check here, 2 is missing. So let's see how you can actually solve this. So our approach is going to be kind of different because the first thing that comes to mind is, for example, to loop through this or like store all of the numbers that we see and then check what number is missing. But there's actually another way to do this. And that approach is going to be really awesome because we only need to do two things. The first thing that we need to do is to add these numbers together. So we're going to put them inside of a variable, for example, called actual sum. We're going to initialize it to zero and we're going to loop through these and add these numbers together. So for example, we're going to loop through this. We're going to say zero plus zero. That's going to give us zero. And then we're going to move on to the next one. We're going to say one plus zero. That's going to give us one. Then we're going to move on to this one. Three plus one. That's going to give us four. And then this one. 4 plus 4, that's going to give us 8. Awesome, we're done with this. And then the last thing that we need to have is going to be another variable called expected sum. And this is going to be the sum of the numbers if none of them were missing. So we're going to say, all right, we have four numbers. That means we have to have all of the numbers from 0 to 4, like so, all the numbers from 0 to 4. And then we're going to add them together. We're going to say 0 plus 0, that's going to give us 0. And then 1 plus 0, that's going to give us 1. Then 2 plus 1, that's going to give us 3. 3 plus 3, that's going to give us 6. And then 4 plus 6, that's going to give us 10. Simple as that. And then after we're done with this, we're only going to say we want to return expected sum minus actual sum. Expected sum minus actual sum. Why? Well, let's see. Expected sum is 10. Actual sum is 8. 10 minus 8, that's 2. And if we check, the number that's missing here is 2. So the only thing that we need to do is to add these numbers together and check the difference between what it is now and what it should be. And we're just going to return that. As you can see, 2 is missing. And we're just going to return the number that's missing. That's it. Now, let's code this in the simplest way possible. Alrighty, let's code this together. So the first thing that we need to have is going to be our actual sum. And this is going to be initialized to 0. Then we're going to loop through our numbers so for example num of nums like so this is going to be our loop and we're just going to say actual sum is equal to actual sum plus that number because we want to add all of the numbers that we have and then we're going to define another variable called expected sum like this and then we're going to say for let i being equal to zero and we want to keep on looping as long as i is smaller or equal to nums dot length and then i plus plus here we're gonna say expected sum is equal to expected sum plus i simple as that and then at the end we're gonna return expected sum minus actual sum now let's run this and see if we can actually get accepted let's see and awesome let's submit this and see if we can actually pass all of the test cases da -da 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 -da. and Yep, we got accepted. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep on coding.